Power and tonight's guest is Representative Ron Mayo, a Democrat from Decatur. Welcome. It's great to have you in primetime lawmakers. Thank you. Great, great to be here. It must have been a big day in your district with a visit, a visit from President Obama. It was a wonderful day. I had a chance to meet the president, shake his hand, take a photo, and it was a good day. And uh, he had a, a good message about pre-K and, and the need for expanding pre-K for all of our students and, uh, and encouraged us to, to be mindful of that. So as a state lawmaker, it's something that I'm certainly going to be focused on, increasing the opportunities for young people to gain an education uh, at an early age so that we stop losing so many in high school. Uh, we've got an alarming dropout rate, and I think pre-K is, is one of the cures to be, being able to reduce that. Now, you haven't been a lawmaker all your life. We always like to ask, what got you interested in politics? Why did you get in? Well, at a young age, I was inspired by my parents to give back to the community. I started volunteering at a local hospital. I did a number of things growing up. Uh, when, I, when I became an adult, I participated in Big Brothers, Big Sisters, became a mentor, and began speaking at a lot of schools and, and just reaching back and, and supporting community-based programs and being a volunteer. When I became a homeowner, I realized that there was a strong connection between political decisions and the value of my home. And, and the state of my community, when you look around and you see crime and you see drugs and you see a high high school dropout rate, these things are affected by political decisions and political decision makers. And I, I wanted to be part of the process and lend my voice and be a leader in the community. You got any political heroes, Representative Mayo? I would say my grandmother, my, my father's mother, Mary Mayo, was a Republican, in fact. And uh, she spent a lot of years working for candidates in California, including uh, Governor, once Governor Ronald Reagan uh, and, and President Reagan on his campaigns. And, and uh, Gerald Ford was another hmm. California congressman she spent time working for. And she would always talk about her experiences and how valuable it was to be involved with political campaigns. And uh, I was inspired at a young age. And I didn't realize it until I became an adult, but uh, I think she planted a seed. Now, for the second time, you filed legislation that would require Georgia drivers to use only hands-free phones while behind, hand, behind the wheel, HB 31. How would that law work? Well, HB 31 is designed to curtail the amount of distracted driving we have on our roads. You've got a number of drivers that hold their cell phones to their ears, and it's something that has really become a, a huge problem, in my view. And uh, we would just like to reduce the number of people who are distracted by the cell phone while driving. And we've uh, passed a bill that uh, prohibits the use of cell phones when you're texting. And I, I would just like to expand that. I think cell phone use is one of the major distractions for drivers. And there are a number of constituents and citizens I've spoken to that have told me about horror stories of fo folks dying on the roads. Uh, car mm. accidents and fatalities uh, that are caused as a result of distracted driving. Similar penalties to the texting while driving law? Indeed, indeed. And, and I'm expecting a hearing and I'm certainly looking forward to my colleagues in the General Assembly to, to provide some direction and, and provide input on, on how we as a, a group, as an assembly, can work together and determine what level of penalty we should uh, impose on, on those distracted drivers. Can we get you to do something else while you're here? Sure. Draw a name out of our fishbowl here for a future profile in power. It's how your name I'd came up. I'd be glad to, to so. put someone else on the hot seat. <laughs> well, listen, you've done very well. Let's see who else we should call up. This is a great way to get to know our lawmakers. All right. So there you go. If you would read the name, please. Representative Tom Rice, chairman of the Motor Vehicles Committee. The committee my bill sits in now. The uh, Wait. How about that? As free bill, and uh, look forward to uh, spending some time with the chairman, Tom Rice. Is, we is will the extend name. your regards to him. Representative Mayo, it's great to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Tonight. Thanks for having me, Scott. Great to see you. Coming.